the mighty, evil, atrocious, insidious, dangerous, maybe mild to those vaccinated. Omicron, that swift ninja army, the trillions of ninjas, is going to literally sweep this fucking planet. That's what it's going to do. Sweep the fucking planet. And there's not really much we can do about it. The most we can do? Follow the protocols. If the French don't want to do that, well, we know what's going to happen to them. And there's nothing they can do about it. Their batshit conspiracy theories are not going to are not gonna stop Omicron from getting to them eventually. Or Delta, if it's still around. Oh, wait, yeah, it's still around. All we can do is uh, think or hope or have faith or whatever that uh, Omicron kicks the fucking shit out of Delta, throws it into that garbage can like we've seen in the movies. You know, the kind of scenes I'm talking about. And, uh, or throws it in a volcano or whatever. And replaces it effectively. Because I know it's already fucking contagious. I probably had it a few times and I probably don't even know. Maybe I've had Delta a few times and I didn't know. Maybe you've had it and you didn't know. Who fucking knows? Everybody's immune system is always going to fucking vary. And yeah. What the fuck? What else can you do, right? There's not really much else you can do. Just gotta ride it out. Like any other virus, like any other pandemic. And humanity has survived very... I'm sorry, a lot of pandemics. If you are curious, there's this article on History... On History Channel or whatever, the website. And it mentions how many pandemics we've went through. And that's a lot. That's a lot of pandemics. And yet we're still here. We gotta persist. We follow the health protocols. Some viruses we can smack down. Unfortunately, this coronavirus has gotten a lot fucking smarter, or maybe we've gotten a lot more dumber. Kind of think of it. We probably have gotten a lot fucking dumber. And the virus has pretty much outsmarted us. Well, for sure it has. At least for some countries, but for others, eh. Uh, They've taken a stand against it. They've smacked it right to the curb. Like a fly... Like a... I'm hitting it with a fly swatter. You know what I'm talking about. So... Yeah. I'm vaccinated, so... It's gonna be mild. I got my booster on February 3rd scheduled, so... Not bad. So... Yeah. And I already know that vaccines aren't the impromptu sole way... To completely eradicate the virus. There's going to be other treatments coming. And there's already the, the uh, coronavirus pill coming out. So that's currently in trials. And we have to pretty much wait for it to be approved. And I, you know, that can take a while. It doesn't happen overnight. This happens rather, uh, you know, it takes weeks to months. They got a oh, fucking hair. Should have worn a hat, but whatever. They gotta go for the trials, they gotta, you know, do all kinds of tests, they gotta make sure, you know, shit doesn't go the wrong way. Like of all trials, there's imperfections, there's allergies, there's problems. You know what I mean. Nothing's perfect. No medication is perfect. No vaccine is perfect. We just gotta deal with it. So, you know. I got my mask, bunches of them, I got a whole Ziploc bag full, and they get washed daily, so if I gotta double up, I gotta double up, you know what I mean, if the two layers, you put two on, that's four layers, if it's tight around your face, that's the equivalent of N95, some I know have actually done four, four masks, a bit excessive, but you know, if you... Want to do what you got to do. You got to do it, right? So, I pretty much stick to one. And so far, so good. I haven't felt like shit. I haven't caught any fevers. So, hey, that's great. You know? Well, anyways. 
That's all I gotta say. Cheers. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to share it and, you know, follow the precautions. Don't doubt the severity of the virus and, you know, stay safe and don't fucking spread it to the rest of your family. And remember, anyone can be vulnerable if they actually have implicated health issues that aren't even diagnosed. And we all know this. It could be anyone. Young, old, nearly born, very old, very young, somewhere in between, immunocompromised, those with asthma, heart conditions, or actually lung conditions, you know, the virus will fucking exploit you. Just like a hacker does with a server, website, network, social media, anything really. They go find a hole or open port. They go fucking exploit it. They go brute force it to get into it. Just like what the virus has been doing. It, I don't know. It's biological maybe. A column to that shit. I don't know. I'm just fucking around anyway about that part. But you know. Viruses are fucking insidious. They're so proposed to. Replicate. Infect. Spread. Maybe not kill the host. But sometimes they do. Anyways, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Cheers. Root Brian out.